Hi everyone, this is Martha and I'm at uh, Delhi France at uh, Wheel Lock and um, I've been waiting for an hour for the people around me to leave only for more people to arrive at this cafe and I, I just was uh, drawn to make this video it's starting to rain you can see what's behind me and um, I'm reading this book called Orgasmic Yoga uh, sorry, Orgasmic Birth. I have a book called Orgasmic Yoga. And um, of course, being a sexologist, I know about this uh, book, Orgasmic Birth. And uh, I've watched the video, Orgasmic Birth. I just haven't read the book, Orgasmic Birth. And um, I was uh, reading this book, chapter one, and I am at page 65. And suddenly, I had this big epiphany. <laughs> So I'm uh, training to be a doula as well, so I have had a lot of trainings. I have this unique training of being a sexologist. Uh, I have a doctorate in human sexuality. Last year I got my master's in counselling. I have two other degrees. I have uh, subjects in uh, coaching, counselling and sex therapy. I also have one on teaching meditation. Bloody noisy. And um, so I'm training to be a doula because I signed up many years ago and uh, I've always wanted to better support my clients, uh, especially women. So anyway, this epiphany that I have, now I have to be really loud because some people just don't get any hints. Okay, so um, this epiphany that I receive is this, um, in this uh, page, shucks, where is it? Oh yeah, I'm on the wrong page because... Um, it was a bookmark. Okay, so basically, um, what I learned in my training to be a doula is that there are two phases to giving birth. I didn't know this until recently. There are two phases. The first phase is where you have the contractions and you need to be very relaxed. The more relaxed you are, the more your body opens up. So the contractions come and go and contrary to what people think is not this big sharp screaming pain that we see uh, in Hollywood movies. So that doesn't happen. The contraction starts to happen, you need to relax so that your body opens up more. And then there's a second phase called the pushing phase. So this is when the baby is in your pelvis and going to go through your cervix and of course down through your birth canal, your vagina to be born. During that phase, you have the pushing phase. And um, this is when you cannot relax, this is when you need to push and this is when it gets really intense. So I'm having this epiphany because I'm reading this um, page 19, sorry, and it, and it says, Transition is the turning point between first and second stage, which I just mentioned, when the baby begins to descend deeply into the pelvis as the last bit of cervix slips away. Thus, you may feel an urge to push along with the continued imperative to relax. So you feel like you want to push, but you also feel like you want to relax. And then this may just be too much to take and lead to a crisis of faith. In turn, in truth, the urge to bear down is an impulse to be active, which conflicts with the need to relax, surrender completely for full dilation. No wonder women in transition push away offers of help, swear their loved ones, panic or ask for drugs. So this is what I understand from this uh, part that I just read to you, is that the two phases of the relaxing and pushing, that's a transition. Right? During the transition, there's confusion. And when you have that confusion, then it's like, which one do I do? Because you feel like pushing, but then you, you think you need to relax, and then you're confused. So what happens in this is uh, they freak out. <laughs> they freak out, and this is when they think they cannot do it. And this is when they push away offers of help, swear their loved ones, panic, or ask for drugs. And this is what we see. And often, uh, this is actually very common in natural childbirth they go through that phase of thinking they can't do it and that's one of the phases however with some reassurance uh, it is possible for them to push with that phase which can actually only be sometimes a few minutes and so what i'm getting in this epiphany is that the masculine and feminine is in place 
I haven't read anything that says that because of my training in Tantra. I'm like, wait a minute. First, you need to be completely relaxed and surrender and open up your body. And that's very much the feminine essence in place. And then you have the pushing phase where the masculine essence is in place where you are now the active and you are now doing and you are pushing. So then I'm like, wow, there's this masculine and feminine that is in nature, that is in us, and that is also in the birth process. And I think that's really amazing that you have the two phases and then you have that two stages uh, during the birth process. I think this is um, nature at work. We just need to be able to embrace the feminine and the masculine, the light and the dark, and you can't just relax, you need to do, and you can't just relax, you need to push. So uh, this is the epiphany that I uh, received, and I actually haven't come across this um, in any other uh, literature uh, so far. So anyway, this is uh, me with my epiphany. Uh, you may think different, and um, feel free to comment and criticize and condemn because um, this is what some people do <laughs> so uh, yeah so anyway this is me uh, giving a little um, shout out a uh, little video I haven't done uh, live videos for a while I don't feel that I need to do them just cause I need to do them I do them cause I feel like it so uh, yeah thanks for watching and um, bye